Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I was a hospital man, third class in the Navy attached to the Marines. I served as a ground medic in OF-1 with MWSS 372 combat engineers. Um, later in OF-2 and 3, I served with helicopter squadron HMM Purple Foxes as a flight medic. Even though my physical wounds, even though the physical wounds I endured in Iraq were minor, my emotional wounds ran deep. It didn't take long. Soon after I came back from Iraq, I was diagnosed with PTSD. PTSD, transitioning out of the military, losing my children, and my business to divorce all came to a boil one day. The day I, I unfortunately started using methamphetamines. Days without sleep turned into weeks. In as little as three years, I found myself alone, without friends or family. Meth had indulged my life, engulfed my life. Um, there's nothing worse in life than living in active addiction. I was miserable. I even remember six months passing and not even cracking a smile. I was very, it was a very sad time for me. We all know addiction comes with consequences. So it was only a matter of time until legal trouble came my way. Exploring my options with my legal problems is what brought me to Veterans Court today. You see, my drug addiction was so bad, I would have friends pull me to the side on a regular basis, regular basis, and express their concerns for my addiction. In one of those instances, a friend said that I should, I should look in, into Veterans Court. He told me they have a great drug prog program and that not only saved his life, but he was certain it would save mine. My friend then, and still today, is, a drug, is drug free. So for that reason alone, I started to feel hope for the first time in years. I, show, I showed up to face Judge Johnson at 139 pounds in the brink, in the brink of starvation. Facial features like a zombie because of continuous weeks without sleep. I remember the embarrassment I felt showing up to court and feeling self-conscious of my lightweight situation. I looked so bad, I thought Veterans Court wouldn't even take me. That's how bad I was. But I was wrong. When others gave me their backs, Veterans Court took me with open arms. Thank God for Judge Johnson that let me in this program. I'm positive that that's what saved my life today. 29, 29 months later, after, Star, McCaff, VT, <laughs> domicilium combat track, VA aftercare, and now currently working CWT in Riverside National Cemetery, I finally stand here, graduated in front of you today. From STAR to CWT and everything in between, this program has been extremely challenging for me, but the rewards have been worth it. This program not only broke my active addiction, it also treated the underlying core issue, issue that created the drug addict in the first place, my PTSD. Today, I have a place to call home. I smile on a daily basis. My mother looks at me with pride. My children desperately await my move to be with them in Minnesota. I'm this close to a federal job <laughs> and go full time to school. And most importantly, I am free from meth addiction. Uh, let me just say this. Um, I, remember, I remember being really depressed, extremely depressed, 139 pounds in a dark room in my, in my room in my house. It was very, 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 like I said, very sad times for me. Um, I remember constantly looking at, at the wall, high out of my mind, just asking God, out of all the people that I've saved, who's gonna save my life? And today I know that that answer is Veterans Court. They saved my life. Just give them a chance, surrender the program, and the benefits forever. Thank you.